Turning to good things happening in Detroit, where outer space has never felt so close, the Michigan Science Center's newly renovated planetarium, taking visitors on a journey through the galaxy with a more immersive educational experience. It is an update months in the making, and it is clearly paying off. Today, we watched students just light up as they visited for the first time. 7 News Detroit reporter Evan Seary talking with staff, parents, and kids about this brand new experience to hear what makes it stand out. The show was amazing. It was a lot of very pretty colors. It was so cool. Um, I know the kids really enjoyed it. The Robinsons, Mom Tori and her daughter Mahela, give hyperspace a stellar odyssey, two thumbs up. As we traveled throughout the galaxy. The immersive show can only be seen inside the Michigan Science Center's newly renovated planetarium. Not many planetariums have 8K. There's only a handful of them in the United States. How's everybody doing today? Paulette Epstein is the Science Center's um, Director of Science and Theater. She says besides the 8K artists. digital projection. That's like putting six 4K televisions right next to you. The upgraded planetarium includes a new dome called NanoSeam, which means visitors won't see any more seams on the screens, a new audio system, and inclined seating. So we are definitely one of the most advanced planetariums in the U.S. The multi-million dollar four-month project was recently completed. This place truly is stunning. The planetarium's new features make it one of the most state-of-the-art in the entire country. But it's the small details, or perhaps the big ones, that really make this place unique for Detroiters. This one is a planet called Kitto. It's half uh, desert and half ocean. Planet Kitto was designed by a Detroit middle school student who was part of a program called Junior Navigators. And they also were able to create their own exoplanet system. So they were able to pick a star. What does that star do? How far would the planet need to be away from their star? We then took those planets that they created and we, uh, we digitized them and put them here in the planetarium. It means visitors like Mahela get to travel to planets created by her peers. I didn't know that at first. That's really cool to know. Made possible with the support of a NASA grant, Epstein says seeing those kids watch their own stars and planets light up the dome was an unforgettable moment. I think it's really important to have youth in Detroit have a voice in what they're seeing in the planetarium, what they're doing, what they're learning. Reporting from the Michigan Science Center's renovated planetarium. It was very immersive. I couldn't see the floor. Evan Seary, 7 News, Detroit. How much fun to just get lost in space like Listen, that. Listen, science rules. I mean, that is so fun. And now we got to start talking about what the weather's going to be like on the planets that they're sure. making, right? Meanwhile, back here on Earth. Meanwhile, back here.